And the next couple from Denmark. Fournier Baudry and Sorensen. She is actually French Canadian and hailing from Montreal. He was born in Copenhagen, Denmark. They live and train in Montreal. And they have one top five at this Grand Prix level. That was some two years ago. Just missed the podium in a couple of lower level events to start this season. After the short dance. Wonderful musicality and an incredible show of strength there on that opening stationary lift. Both will add to the grade of exec execution given by the judges. So how do you manage it? Absolutely. There's there's no way to get rid of that nervous feeling. In fact, I think that you want it. It means that this is an important event for you. The best way to deal with nerves is to just train your hardest and know that you've, you've done everything you can for this moment. with Spanish music to keep the intensity up through an entire program. I, th I think these guys are doing a good job of that. They're just gonna have to finish strong, match the power of the music. good skate from this team they went with a Spanish routine and, and interesting because their their short dance had a bit of a Spanish flair to it as well but I think they're gonna be happy with that well-executed elements their lifts in particular for me were very strong 
Fournier Baudreau. And Sorensen just outside the top 12 at the World Championships last year, but a top 10 at the European Championships. And their scores here at this Grand Prix when we come back. Here are the replays for Lawrence and Nick. I think they're they're a much improved team over the last four years. I mentioned that yesterday. I think they've, they've made huge strides in their basic skating, their ability to relate with one another and with the music. I felt like their connection here in this program wasn't as strong as some of their programs or performances in the past. Certainly lots of energy and enthusiasm, and, and you have to have that for a Spanish program. It's an incredibly difficult routine because it demands so much precision, so many details to the Spanish movement. Overall, this was a, a good performance for these guys, but still some room to improve throughout the season. Would like to climb into the top five in the overall standings after sitting sixth after the short dance. Those seasons best, just shy of 100 yeah, in the free dance. So close. Seasons best all around, and the early leaders now still in group one here in the free dance. And they should be pleased with that score. That's a that's a good score for this team. Definitely something to encourage encourage them moving forward. They're definitely on the right track.